Hey everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. Uh, the video you're about to watch was previously recorded on Facebook Live, so if you see me talking to people, um, that would be why. I'm just sharing a fun and easy technique where you can create little bubble-like textures. You could use this to create kind of a background for kindness rocks or make it in part of a design. It's just a quick and easy tutorial for this technique, so you can give this a try. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments, and of course, subscribe. Is I'm just playing around and experimenting, um, and I wanted to share this fun little technique. So these almost look like bubbles, I guess you could say. And so I'm working on this really nice flat stone here. Um, I did experiment and I'll pull another stone that's a little bit less flat. I think the flat surface works really well for this technique. So I'm just gonna quit blabbing so much and show you what I'm doing. So I'm just using my paint pens here. Um, you guys know how much I love these and I'm creating these kind of bubbles. So all you need is um, any colors. I did them with my glitters on the back I was playing. Uh, I'll tell you what happened there. So I'm gonna show you some things I'm learning. Um, so glitter, metallic, whatever ones you have, it works great to have this light color underneath on your rock. So um, you just take and draw a circle on your stone and don't fill it in. And then we're gonna take water, I got water, just plain water back here. And you're gonna fill in the circle with water. And I'm gonna take this off my rag because I want it to sit nice and flat. So I'm just gonna dot my water right in the center. And as you see, it kind of pulls that paint a little bit. And I'm going to pull my circle of water all the way to the edges like so. And now I'm gonna use my washcloth here to dry my brush off. And then I'm gonna pull water back out. Just like that. And it will actually pull a little bit of the paint back out as well. So see, you just have to keep drying your brush and it will kind of suck some of that water back up off of the stone. And then very carefully, once you've pulled a good amount, you can kind of see it there. You just kind of give it a nice soft blow from the top. Now we'll kind of even it out because if you pull from one area, see like this purple one I pulled kind of just out to the side so it's a little bit off-centered there. And then if you wait until your bubble has completely dried, like this blue one is completely dry, you can add like those little connected bubbles, I guess you could say. So like a little bubble family. So you could just do like an arch here, just like that. And then just come in with your water. And you wanna be careful if you're dunking, you can see my brush back here. If you're dunking so far that you're uh, metals going in you might collect extra water up there you don't want to blow out your circle um, so you want to be very careful you don't want to oversaturate the center okay you just want the paint or water to go to the edge of that paint and then I'm gonna pull that back out just like that and if you let it dry too long you might have to go back in and, and add more color so I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna pull it off to the side just to give it a soft blow there. I'll let that dry a second and then I'll tilt it up for you. But you can do big ones, you can do small ones, like even if you wanna do a, little, a couple little tiny floating dots, as long as there's a center for you to place your water, if you're doing a really tiny one, make sure that you get most of your water off. Like I even dry off my brush all the way over here and go back into the water and just get on the very tip. I know you can see that back there just the very, very tippy brush. So you just add a dot in the center, dry it and pull it back up. And I'll show you what it looks like in a second. I didn't even add water to that one, oops. There we go, and pull it right back up. And I'm talking a very, very soft blow, okay? Um, and I'll show you why in a second once these dry a little bit. But see, you even get that nice little, and you can see the blue one up here now, attachment like that. So a couple of things to keep in mind, and then I'll flip over and do a few more. So I'll show you on the back side. I was using my glitter Poskas, and these were the first ones I did. The very first one I did, if you blow too hard, your paint will splatter. So I tried to 
you know, doodle and add some extra stuff to that. Um, this one here, if you add too much water, it will blow out the edge of your circle. And while that could look cool and it could be something that you want to do, a technique you want to try, go for it. Um, but that's what will happen if your water goes too much. So just add a little dot in the center and slowly add the water um, until it kind of fills it in. Um, even just one dot and you can kind of massage it out to the edges with your brush and that will work as well. And then here, you know, make sure you can draw a circle. Like every once in a while, my my edges got a little strange. So again, those are like the glitter. So the glitter ones look really cool, especially on this rock, because they have that shimmer just like the rock does. Oop, there you go, you can kind of see. It's kind of hard to tell um, on camera. So, but on this side, I was just going with the regular pack of pens, because I know a lot of people have those basic pens, um, the basic pack of pens. And I've been using my same pens since the very first live that I did for you all on this page. I showed you guys the pens first thing when I got them. And it was funny, I think it was a cactus tutorial. And I finally, on the three M's, have to replace my black. First three M I've had to replace, I got the multi-pack. And I've replaced my one M whites and blacks a few times just because I use them for writing a lot. So again, just put the water in, and just pull it back out. So see, it's just like that. You may not want to practice right away on a really flat stone like this. I am going to pull a regular stone that's not quite as flat, and we'll give it a try on that while we've got you on here. Um, we'll see how it turns out on something not quite as white. And this one's kind of got a peach tone to it. So let's give it a try. Let's put this one off to the side to dry. And this one has a little bit more texture to it as well. So you guys can test it out with me. We'll see how it looks. I'll do a nice big one first here. I'm just worried that it might start to try to roll over the edge. You don't want to do this on a base coated rock. I don't like I think the fact that the rock can absorb some of the moisture does help it from really washing out. So there, I just add a little drop in the center and then I'm gonna take my brush and rub out to the edges. Just enough to get to the edge of the circle. There we go. Then dry off that brush. You guys can't see my washcloth really over here. But I'm drying off all the moisture I can and then you can pick kind of a spot where you want it to fade to. So this is absorbing the water a little bit more. So you're gonna have to work a little faster possibly on different kinds of rocks, but it still is working okay. So, so it's still created the effect. Without that bright white underneath though, it's not as um, effective, I guess you could say. We'll pull out a little bit more, maybe when it dries because the center is wet, so when it dries, it might go back a little bit more to this color. Maybe if I try a lighter color as well. Let me do a blue on here. And this one, I'm even going over the edge a bit. So we'll see if we can keep the water up there. I might tilt it just a smidge while I'm working on it. Feel like this rock soaks in the paint itself a little faster so speed might be something you'll have to to work with as well but i'd say it actually still works so yeah and as that's drying you can see it a little bit better see i think the white definitely works best but you can kind of see that Try not to get too much reflection while it's wet. So there we go. I'll do one more. I'll do a pink on here since I've got all three colors. Now this is dry. And that one does look a lot better now that it's dry. So even if you have the colored rocks, you can give it a try. But see, you can almost see the ring on this because it soaks it in a lot faster. So you might have to do more than one coat even to get your look. Because once you have a coat of paint down, it will create a barrier. And it won't soak in quite as fast. 
I like how I'm working through all these problems with you guys live. That way when, oh, oh, that was pink water. That way when I actually do my video, I'll know all these issues, right? There we go. All right, last one here. And I'll show off the, the dry ones on the white rock back here. They've had plenty of time to dry. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. All right, so thanks for everybody that joined in live today. <laughs> all right, here we go. So there's a nice complete, these ones are all dry. So I can go back in and add extra bubbles and little ones around like I did here on the back side. But just something fun and different for you to give a try. Let me know if you do. Come back and share pictures. I always love to see what you all are creating as well. And I'll be back on soon with another tutorial. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody.